up the uh, main event. Uh, we will uh, now clear the uh, stage for the uh, main event. Thank you very much for, for everything, Peter and Guerrero. Good luck on Saturday, Saturday night. Now the main event, as we all know, will be a tremendous, tremendous fight. You have one fighter in Danny Garcia who is Who is the champion, who is a unified champion. And on the other side, you have Brooklyn's very own in Zab Judah, who has been up there with the very best, who has, who you can say the veteran of, of, of boxing, obviously knows this is, this is the fight that he had to take serious. This is the fight, uh, the challenge. Could be maybe the last challenge, who knows? But uh, obviously, obviously he knew that he had to pair, prepare 100%. And Danny Garcia, we've seen him grow. We've seen him learn. We've seen him win world titles and knock people out. And yet, at such a young age, he's still developing, he's still learning, he's still training hard, he's still winning world titles. So it really is a pleasure to be uh, watching the, the development of, of, uh, of Danny Garcia over the years. At this moment, let me uh, take the opportunity to call up to the podium. He is Garcia's trainer and father, the very colorful Angel Garcia. First of all, I want to thank God. Without him, there will be none of this for me or Danny or anybody in here. Uh, first of all, I want to. Um, I apologize to Modell by yesterday. That was an on call, unnecessary. Uh, sometimes you got arrogant people in the world and you just can't stop them from doing arrogant things. Um, Danny had a great camp. I mean, February 9th, you know, he got caught up on a little injury, but that's okay, that's past. That's the, that's the past, that's not the future. The future, he's ready, he's ready to go. He had a great camp, sparring, great. He got hit, he's ready to go, 100% mentally, physically. And um, Saturday, April 27, Zab's still gonna be a loser what he is. Ain't gonna be a winner because it's not about Brooklyn or Philly. It's about the king of the East Coast. And Danny is gonna be the East Coast uh, king. Uh, Zach will talk all he want. You know, he's trying to threaten us, scaring us, like he's supposed to take our heart. Like, it's not about me, it's not about him. It's about him and Danny. He's underestimating Danny, like everybody else is doing, and nobody see the truth. The truth is that Danny's still gonna be the champion for a long time. You guys gotta understand this. This is not gonna be on Saturday at the end of Danny. This is gonna be forever, for a long time. Cause we're looking forward to the future and we're going strong. And it's gonna be Danny and God. What I got is nothing. And Zach don't have that. He could, he could talk about all he want, religion, this religion, that. He go through uh, priests and, 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 and fathers and all that. I don't go, I go directly to God. I don't need no in between. I don't need no in between. So it is what it is on Saturday. Whoever talk, you see on Saturday, gonna shut all of y'all up. That's it, plain and simple. There is no, there is no Zad, this, that. That used to be. Used to be. Now we got a new era of fighters. It's a new era of champions. You guys gotta understand it. Not everybody's Bernard. Bernard was cloned. That's what it is. He's an alien. You don't understand what to talk about. You know what I mean? You guys don't know the truth. He's unstoppable. He's passing the throne to Dan. That's a big thing. That's not a little thing. Thank you guys and I love you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
why announce that uh, Bernard Hopkins will be uh, coming out in Men in Black 4. <laughs> no more excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what can I say about uh, Danny Swift Garcia? He has an excellent record, 25 and 0 and 16 knockouts. You know, and like like Danny Danny's father said, I mean, nobody has ever proved him wrong. You know, people can say and talk and this and that, but until you prove somebody wrong, then there's nothing. And that's what he's been doing every single fight: is proving everybody wrong. Because of his work ethic, because of you know the he trains hard, he does everything right. You know he loves boxing. He's in the gym. His dedication to to, to boxing. That's why he's on top. Because his team, he has a great team that surrounds him. He is the unified super lightweight world champion. His uh, boxing's uh, breakout year in 2012. Uh, his fights. Which, uh, which gave him the, uh, the honors of, of being one of the candidates uh, for fight of the year in 2012 uh, uh, when, he, uh, when he fought Eric Morales uh, and, and beat Eric Morales for the 140 pound world title. Uh, he was here recently at the Barclays Center which had a spectacular, spectacular knockout one punch knockout so he has power he has the speed and he's rapidly developing the boxing technique he's the whole package that's what he is at, at such a young age he's the whole package so it's very exciting to be uh, introducing to you uh, the champion with a record of 25 and 0 and 16 knockouts out of Philadelphia Pennsylvania Danny Swift Garcia First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank um, my dad, uh, the whole team Garcia. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank uh, Showtime and uh, all the fans and all the media who came out to support this fight. Um, I had a tremendous eight-week camp. Everything was solid. I ran, man, I calculated my miles running. You can say I ran to the Barclays Center and back home. <laughs> man, I put the miles in running. But um, I sparred, felt tremendous. I'm injury free. I'm solid. I'm confident. I'm really motivated for this fight. Um, I think I'm just the most motivated I've ever been for a fight. Um, I've been feeling real strong. My vision's real good in the gym. And I feel like I'm, I grew to be, you know, a heck of a dangerous fighter, more dangerous than I was before. So I'm just smarter now. Um, most of all, Saturday night, I'm gonna be smart, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just destroy. My, my main mission is destroy. That's what I do, I come. I don't have to talk, I don't have to do this, I don't have to do nothing. See, I don't have to talk because I know I can fight. And the people, when they come to watch Danny Garcia, they know they're gonna see either one of the best 12 round fights or the best knockout of the year. So, I don't have to say nothing out of my mouth. I like these hands fly. And you can say what you want to say. Danny Garcia doesn't have enough experience. He's slow, he's technical, he's, 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 he's flat-footed. But it don't matter when you get hit. All that, it, it matters, can you, take, can you take a Danny Garcia hit? Or can you, can you outthink Danny Garcia? They playing checkers, I'm playing chess. Come Saturday night, it's gonna be another epic performance by Team Garcia, and we're gonna get the job done. I'm really motivated, and I'm ready to take him in deep water and drown him. Take him in a dark North Philly alleyway and beat, and beat the shit out of him, because that's what I'm gonna do. See ya Saturday night. Thank you very much, Team Garcia. Now, now we, uh, we're gonna start a Q&A with uh, Team Garcia. If you have any questions for Danny, for his father, for Hopkins, uh, raise your hand. We're just confirming. Test, okay. 
We're just confirming that uh, Zap Judah is still here, um, but we're in the meantime, we're gonna do this Q&A with Danny and then pose for some pictures if Zap might have left. Mike Woods, ESPN New York, question for Angel and Danny. I'm wondering what you make of this whole security situation and splitting you guys up. Is this something you guys wanted or Zap wanted or never seen anything quite like this? We need him at the mic. There we go. Single mic. Oh no, this caught me off guard. They, we just they just came up with this at the last minute, but it doesn't bother me. Like they could have Danny together with Zav here. I mean, it, it doesn't be no, it doesn't put no fear on us about him being here. It's making it seem like this. It's not about New York and Philly and all that. It's about the East. It's about the king of the East Coast. It's bigger than this. So, you know, if they want to keep it like this safe, it's cool. I mean, I have no problem with this. It is what it is. I mean, they want to do it this way, it's cool too. But if he wants to come in here, as long as he don't put his hands on me or my team, or none of us, everything's good. If, then, then it's going to be a fight. But if he put his hands on me or my team, then he's out of a purse. Yeah, so we have confirmation that uh, Team uh, Zap Judah just left. So what we'll do is just have uh, questions from the media, and then uh, we'll pose we'll pose the fighter, the champion. Maybe you can pose against uh, Hopkins, the alien. <laughs> Any more questions, them? Sorry guys for this uh, unconventional way of doing the, 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 the press conference, but you know, it's just, there, there's tension in the air so this from Zoom. the other side, uh, you know, and we have to do things like this, but uh, obviously the show, the show is going to go on. Uh, we, we definitely have a fight on Saturday night. Um, for Oscar and for Danny, um, in any way does this disappoint you that he's not showing up? Does it in any way take away from, you know, this event? For you personally, Danny, and for, for you, Oscar, and your experience? Well, for me personally, I'm not speaking for nobody, for me personally, uh, you know, it's, it's unprofessional, obviously. I mean, this is a boxing event, and both fighters will be fighting inside the ring, not outside. Um, you know, but that's, so be it. So be it. As long as nothing happens outside the ring and everything is great, then we have a fight on Saturday night. But it's it's a little bit of unprofessional. Yeah. Oscar, who made the decision that you couldn't have both fighters of the day together? When was that made? How was it made? It, it, it was a team decision uh, uh, within uh, within Golden Boy and uh, everybody involved with Al Heyman and everybody. Uh, we just thought it would be the right thing to do. You know, we we want. We want to see a fight Saturday night because it's such a great matchup. It's such a great event. Uh, we just we just didn't want to uh, uh, risk anything. Was the Judah team also part of that decision making process? No. And what about the New York State Athletic Commission? Did they have any involvement in this? They they were notified of uh, of what we were going to do. Yes. Okay. Can you Well, I'm a little disappointed because I couldn't wait to look in his eyes and, and snatch his soul, snatch his soul right out of his body. See, I'm, that's, that's, I, I just couldn't wait to look in his eyes because everybody's tough when they got 20 people with them. I mean, come on now. Anybody's going to act like a tough guy, but at the end of the day, it's going to be me and him, and that's all that matters. Do you think that in any way, him not showing up? Is part of that. You said you had his crew with him, but then on stage, you got you right now. I mean, it really don't matter. It really don't matter. Like I, I don't even care about him. I don't even care about him. I, I'm focused. I'm ready. I'm motivated. And Saturday night, see the people. I know you guys are used to seeing my dad snapping press conference, making you guys laugh. So you guys are probably a little let down. Probably won't get the YouTube views, but. <laughs> 
Saturday night on Showtime is going to be another tremendous performance. One of the fine players in the business is sitting right next to you, Bernard Hopkins. Do you think that what Zab Judah has done with his team and his gang will thug? Something to throw you out? Nah, it ain't, it ain't gonna throw me out my game plan. Um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm focused, I'm motivated. And whatever he's doing, I don't know what he's trying to do, but it ain't gonna work. I'm too focused, I'm too motivated. I'm not even worried about none of that stuff. To make you go into the re angry and um, seeking revenge for being slighted here, that that's not gonna happen. Nah, see, I'm the champion. When you right. when you want, when you want the belt, you gotta come get off the champion. I don't have to go out there and prove nothing. You gotta come out there and show me that you want the belt, and that's when he's gonna get hurt. God bless. We'll now take the picture with uh, with the fighter. Thank you. And then we'll do one on one. Mayor of Boston, Mayor, said the bombers, the Boston bombers, New York City was the next target. New York City was the next target. The Boston bombers told, told them New York City was the next target.